Okay, hello and welcome. This is a tutorial or sort of examination of a, my custom MIDI block. It'll give you a little bit of a quick tour. It's got two uh, MIDI DINs on it. Uh, one is for MIDI IN and this one's for MIDI OUT. Now this is a bit different because it requires some f slightly funky uh, wiring to get it to attach to a uh, the patch block at the end of your chain. Um, whereas this one is pretty basic and standard, much like the standard MIDI block from Patchbox Inc. Now, it comes with a power switch. Uh, the reason why it has a power switch is because the power is derived from the next attached block. And in order not to drain the attached block's battery accidentally, I've placed a simple switch on here. Um, there's some jumpers uh, for doing certain sort of prototyping work. Uh, the main connector here that plugs into uh, the patch block. Um, so let's just pull the bad boy apart and show you how it's made. Okay. Three more screws. See these are simple three mil standoffs. You could use steel as I've used here, or you could use oh, sorry, they're brass actually. We call plated brass, or you can use uh, plastic uh, nylon. It's quite a good choice. Um, there are some nylon three mil nuts here. I'll show them to you. Underneath, I've got some rubber feet, which are just used to raise the black the pl block up to the correct height so that the um, yeah, those guys line up perfectly with our patch block as you can see this must line up like so Right, so, the interesting bit, this is the circuit board, this is the circuit, it's a pretty standard uh, MIDI circuit, based on this 6N138 optocoupler, here, which, and it's a pretty standard circuit, you can see, you, I'll have the circuit diagram attached uh, as a link to this video. Okay, so we've got switch, LED, resistor, prototyping pins, chip for 6N138 optocoupler, it's socketed with a dip 8 socket, our two MIDI connectors, DIN, these ones are PCB right angle connectors, that's how I make them come out that way instead of that way up. Like that. So here you can see the right angle style connector that I've made out of soldering together some standard uh, headers together with some socketed single line row of headers. Now I did that uh, with the patch block actually plugged into it. That was the easiest way to align the pins, get the height exactly right. Um, make sure you turn the power off when you do that. 
um, you don't want to damage your patch block but that's basically the hardest bit and if you can buy a connector that does this strongly recommended if you can get it it'll save you time but that's basically the circuit laid out on a prototyping strip board as you can see not too complicated a couple of cuts standard through hole components and resistors 3mm LED these plastic perspex sheets what I did was get two pieces of perspex it's a five mil I believe perspex cut it into two roughly the right size shapes then I double side taped them together like thus and from then on I pretty much worked the shape with them attached to each other which is how you end up with two perfectly aligned ones. Now I used a belt sander. Uh, you can use sandpaper, files. Well, I started with the bandsaw, to be honest. First I started with the bandsaw. Start again. So I put these two together. Double-sided tape. And then I taped slash glued a template to the piece and then I ran it through the band saw <laughs> then I ran it through my belt sander to get all the surfaces exactly nice and smooth lined up did my little tricks like making those little corners make things look nice and then comes the tedious bit, which is lining up all your holes. Now, I advise that you use the template, which shows you the position of all the holes. So, that's basically it. Single template, two things stuck together. When you're finished, pull them apart, and you've got your two halves. Measurements. Ooh, fun. Okay, so, what we are talking about here is... Uh, there you go. So, that is 4.2 millimetres.